Hey guys, it's Logan from Interesting Reviews here, and today I'm going to be walking you through my epoxy project. So the epoxy that I use is the Flora Epoxy Resin, and this is a deep pour, not a casting. And I got this from the company, and they're called the Epoxy Resin Store, and I'll also leave a link in the description below for you if you guys want to buy it. Okay, so to begin my epoxy project, the first thing I need to do was get a table. So I went down to my local thrift store, and I bought an old diner table. The thing with this table was I did not like the color, so I decided to unscrew the bottom and then flip it over and then re-screw it in. So I made the top the bottom and the bottom the top, but the problem was there were a few holes. So I had to grab some paste and paste over the holes so it would be a flat surface. Then I took it outside and I decided to spray paint it black. And also you can see there that's the top that has been screwed in. And then after I was finished spray painting black, then I left it outside to dry for a few hours, and then after it was done drying, I bought it back inside. Then I grabbed the metal bar, and I went all around and screwed it in and made sure it was tightly in. Then I brought it back inside, then I grabbed my pennies, and I began to outline the table. I just finished laying out the coins in a nice design that I like, and now I'm going to start gluing the coins down to the table so we can put a nice epoxy layer over it. Let's start gluing. Okay, so this is the design that I went with and I like. And now I'm going to start gluing down these coins, and I'll see us. We'll see you after we finish gluing all these. So we're pretty much done gluing down the coins, but look what arrived. We have our epoxy here, and we go into Home Depot and we picked ourselves up some mixing sticks, and we got our measuring bucket, and we got some plastic sheet in to protect the floor from the epoxy. Let's get everything set up. Alright, so I laid the plastic sheet out and then I moved the table in here because if it's a hotter temperature, it cures faster, but if it's a colder temperature, it cures slower and we want it to cure faster, so we brought it into the garage. And also another thing is after days of gluing, I found out that there were some loose uh, pennies here. And then if you have the same problem, the best way to tell is to just run your hand across the table and you can actually here or if you can't hear you can see see this coin here is spinning in the circle here so it's loose so I'm going to take this one out and then just you have to rub around and feel and make sure all the coins are in oh look another loose one here so you have to re-glue so just make sure you go around and you get all the pieces and make sure they're glued in so now I have to re-glue these and I'll get back to you when we re-glue alright so now we're going to glue our last few pieces on and then we're going to level out the table This is what I've had to do to get this table leveled. Let's see how leveled it actually is. This is as even as it's going to get. Right, so now I've finished leveling, but now that I've glued in a few surprises. So I glued in my molar so when I was a kid, and not only that, I, I glued in my cat's claw. <laughs> Alright, and now we're going to start unboxing the epoxy. Alright, so the epoxy arrived. Let's open up and see what epoxy I chose. Now that we've unpackaged the epoxy, now I want to talk about what epoxy I went with. So the epoxy that I went with is the Flora Epoxy Resin. And then this is the Resin Part A. And then there's also a Hardener Part B. And this is a 2 to 1 ratio. 
And now we're gonna go through the mixing process. All right, so to begin the mixing process, the first thing you wanna do is take your hardener and you wanna pour your hardener in. Then you wanna take your resin and then pour all of your resin in. And this is a three to one ratio. Now once it's in, you need to take your mixing stick and you wanna just mix for three to five minutes and keep mixing and mixing. Set your timer. And then not only that, there's a very important step is that when you're mixing, you need to make sure you scrape the bottom and you scrape along the sides. And the reason why we're not using a, a drill mixer and we're using a wooden stick instead is because when you use a drill mixture it gets a lot of air bubbles in there and then when you pour your epoxy there's a bunch of air bubbles inside and on top and you don't want that because you want a nice clear epoxy layer so let's get mixing before we get mixing one thing I want to talk about is you need a heat gun because when you pour in the epoxy there's bubbles that come up to the surface and if you don't use this heat gun to get rid of the bubbles then you'll just have bubbles sitting at the top of your epoxy and it won't be a clear nice epoxy All right, so here's our hardener, and now we're gonna begin to pour. All right, now that that's in, now we're gonna begin with the resin. All right, now take your resin. Pour that guy in. Be careful when you're pouring. And this is a three to one ratio. All right, now that all that's in, now you need to get your mixing stick and now you need to begin mixing for three to five minutes. And you need to make sure to scrub the bottom and around the sides. Make sure to get the sides. So we'll be mixing for about five minutes and now we need to take this batch of epoxy and we need to pour it into another bucket and then stir again for another five minutes. All right, so now you wanna pour it into here. And now you have to mix again for three to five minutes. Now that you've moved the epoxy over to the other bucket, now what you want to do is stir again for three to five minutes. And then after that, you want to let it stand still for another five minutes. And then after that, you can begin pouring. Keep stirring, keep stirring. Keep on mixing, keep on mixing. So now the instructions say you have to leave it for five minutes to let it settle and then we can begin pouring. Let's get pouring. Alright, so we're
Alright, so we've put all our epoxy down on our table, but now there's bubbles there, so now we're gonna use our heat gun and we're gonna destroy those bubbles. Let's pop some bubbles. So now that we've finished with the heat gun, now what you want to do is just let your epoxy stand still and let it dry. I'm pretty sure it takes up to two to three days. So just let it sit, let it stand still, don't touch it. Don't blow on it, don't do anything. Because if you drop something on the table or there's a crumb, then it'll get stuck in the epoxy and you'll have a crumb or whatever it is stuck in the epoxy forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really fun project and it was cool to work with Epoxy for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any comments, leave them down below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.